Good morning, everybody. This is Val with This Is How You Do It. I just want to show you the freezer. Willie came out here, cleaned this freezer out, took all of that stuff out, and he, he throwed bleach in there to clean it. But right now, he's not finished with it. It smells clean. But he said that some of them spots down there where the chicken had thawed out, he got bleach, sitting, bleach water sitting in there to uh, make sure that that gets clean. But uh, he's going to do it again. And uh, we, we unplugged the refrigerator. Look, and it's, it's, some, it's some stuff right here. I'm not going to put my hand on it. Right there. That's bleach sitting in those crevices. You can see the water bleach right there. So it's just sitting all in there. And I just wanted to show y'all how things are moving along for us, the Grand Villa getting back to its beautiful natural self. Did I say good morning, y'all? Ooh, look at your girl got that thing all lit up right there. She got all the brightness on the situation. Girl. Well, that ain't enough light. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm coming on. Going back out of here. Still in the Grand Villa. Go out here and close this gate. And get started. Yeah. I guess that's where you, it depends on where you're at, on the light situation. Okay, Grand Villa Gardens. Let me get some of this light out of the situation. I don't want to be too bright on y'all. Well, shoot, too bright on y'all. It's, it's some honey. Trying to be a technical whiz. See, every time I put my thing on it, it get just right. When I turn my thing off, it ain't just right. I'm just leave it like that, y'all. Now, I'm at the part. I'm at the point of store now. Look at that darkness now. Got my stick. Oh yeah, let me see my shirt. Make it count, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Just walking, that's all I'm doing. First round. Chai. I want to show you that it's not, it needs to be cleaned again. But right now, with all of that bleach in there, that bleach just doing the job, girl. It's something about bleach. It's just, it's, it's keeping it white. It's, it's where well, we used to hose pipe, you know, and spray it in there. And he kept throwing bleach in there, throwing bleach in there. And once he got it to a, a part there, it still looked like a usable freezer. He uh, just pulled straight up bleach up in there and closed it. You know, make sure it don't have no odor, no smell, nothing like that. Now, we have, still have several weeks before the event. I'm not going to put anything in there uh, until... Maybe the day of or or something like that, you know, while you're cooking, you don't want your food out that you're not cooking. Um, you got, you know, and then, then flies blow it or, or different stuff like that. But I was just letting y'all see the progress is going on after what y'all saw the first time. I, they, they did that yesterday. Um, went up there, got all that. That, that meat out of there and hauled it away from him. And I, I, I'm so thankful. I kept saying thank you. You know, I appreciate you. Yeah. So, glad of that. Walking. Good God, good God, good God, good God. What you saying there? Saying here, good God, y'all.
turn. Look, I'm gonna show you something when we get to the end of this corner. Now you remember now. Yes, it wasn't. and scripture and all of that good stuff because like I said this is not a gospel channel <laughs> this is just me walking and what's in me come up while I'm walking and this particular morning <laughs> these folks all these people got Invitations to our event. What I mean by invitations, when we go back to the house, I'm gonna go in the house and get one of those cards and I'm gonna ha hand y'all an invitation too. What y'all can do is freeze the frame. It's got all the information on there, it's even got the address on there because we didn't put this address out on Facebook with invitations. We didn't send it to biker clubs with the, with the address on it. So, well. So I'll let y'all see it too. And I think, well, let me. I'm just gonna cut the circle start, y'all. I'm trying to finna go in that driveway right there. Where the mailbox at? I'm supposed to go in this driveway. Yeah, we had a circle driveway at one time. Still got it, but the grass going up on this side. Need to get some weed killer and kill all that grass, cause them rocks, that grass was still there. The grass just and growed up over. I'm thinking it's my last lap here, y'all. The last one I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm looking at the time, it's just 40 minutes. But I did way over six laps, I believe. I know I did three with this one. I'm breathing getting a little labored. But I'm ready to stop. So I'm gonna listen to my body and go on stop. Sometimes you have to listen to your body. I may start doing some evening walking, just me and the Lord, so I can concentrate on Him and pray the whole time I walk. You know, 
Pray for an hour. Pray for 40 minutes. Pray for 50 minutes. So I may start doing that. So I can uh have more of an anointing and words like that. What I said earlier just won't jump out. Cause that means I ain't prayed up. I ain't fast up. I'm still in my flesh. And I need to get out of my flesh before the party. Okay, here is the uh, thing. Now this right here is a small little thing. It's on front and back, and we we have tickets also. So this is a public event. And because it is a public event, it's got the address on it. It's a public event. And y'all that's in the area are welcome to come. Now, in, now these right here, we need gave to everybody out here. So they know in advance what this is. The signs are up showing how to get here. We, when we have our event, we put more signs up going out of here, this area. And we put some on the main road, and then we, we space them out for each block until they turn down in here. But after the party, we go get those from the main road and, and, and pull those up. But we leave the ones that's down here on this private road. Now, I've been talking about this since January. I've been on Facebook. Some of y'all that got, that's that's on my Facebook channel, uh, on Willie Facebook channel. I stopped doing it on mine. So I started telling Willie he can do it and showing him how to do it, so he can make sure that his friends and his coworkers get the message. And he didn't pass them out, pass those flowers out on his job. He didn't gave these 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 folks out here some and gave them like five extra. I uh, say if if you want to tell anybody, you know, let them know, you know. Whether they throw them in the trash or not, it don't matter. We done gave it to them. And they already know that that's his birthday. And every year, he, he get a party. But they know this time, he's retiring. So, this should be special to them. Well, anyway. Uh, I said that to say this. Every time we have something, we let them know way in advance. We actually give them a piece of a slip of paper when we have an open event like that. Now, we have had things, like we just opened the Grand Villa, and we was just selling beer and look on and listening to music, but the Grand Villa is open. But then again, I sent out a text. That's how other people know about it. What I do when we have something that we don't have the paperwork for, I have to correct this. What I do, you know how you have everybody in your phone? I take my phone, I take Willie's phone. And you know how you send people a text, a group text, and you can only send 19 at a time. I sit there about four or five times sending 19 at a time, telling somebody that the Grand Villa is open. Now, we ain't opening at all this year because we'll have been sick, but I'm talking about them past uh, three years. We would send out a text, text and say, uh, Blue Sunday or, or, or Fry the Fish Fry. And then, you know, send everybody a text and let them know what's going on. The bike is calm. Yeah. The bike is calm. One time, that cousin came up with a whole bunch of cowboys. Oh, we were so surprised. Maybe somebody heard the music or or uh, the cowboys had just got through roping or something and they wanted some beer or something. They came in, them cowboys worked that party, boy. You know, they were dancing and carrying on and trying to grab the attention of the women. It made me feel good that they showed up, y'all. And then they, they bought the beer, they drank, they put down some beer, you feel me? And so that kind of helped our event for his, um, uh, you know, selling the beer because I sold, I sell a beer for $2. I ain't trying to make a big old profit because you know you got to buy it. You got you get 24 cans uh, in a case, right? So uh, 
the beer run you about nineteen dollars, nineteen ninety nine. Then there's tax on it. So if you sell it for two dollars, you know you get your twenty four four uh, dollars from 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 one size. Okay, you got that that paid for the bill. Let's say that paid for the nineteen dollars in the tax. Then you get an extra extra twenty four dollars. So all you really made off a case of beer is twenty four dollars, really. If you you know me count. And so if I sit I sell some fish and some fries, you know, I think I was selling that. Five dollars? I think that's what I, 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 I call it a fish plate. I call it, I sell that for five dollars. But then, you know, I'm putting two piece, pieces of fish on it, I'm filling it up with the fries. I'm doing it the way it, uh, I wanted it to be treated when I go somewhere. And uh, I ain't trying to get rich off one person, you know. I want the people to come back. I want the people to enjoy themselves. I want the people to say, girl, they give you plenty of food over there and you ain't got to pay but $5. Child, the bill ain't but $2. You know, some people so ratchet, they be like, you know, you can go to the corner store, you can get this dollar, this bill right here for a dollar. You can get this. Well, them people right there, I had to buy them that bill from them people right there. So if I sell it to you for a dollar, that means I, I just went to the store for you and bought you some beer. I ain't making nothing off this. I'm just selling you the beer for what I bought it for. Ratchet. I'm selling this. I'm not giving it away. I didn't. I didn't get in my car and go to the store for you. And then you want me to sell it to you for the same thing I got it from the store. It's convenient. Now, if you want to go on to the store and go get you a six-pack or go get you a, 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 a case of beer, you're more than welcome to go on, go on to the store and pick it up yourself. If that's what you want to do. You, I ain't say you couldn't bring nothing in here. When some places say you can't bring nothing in their place. So, but you can go to the store and pick you up some for the same price I picked it up at. Then you ain't got to worry about giving me that extra dollar. Sure. Some folks, you got to stop right then. Some folks just being ratchet for no reason. And some people trying to put the word out so other people can hear them say that. You're more than welcome to go there and get you some for some of that dollar bill that you just told me about. I don't even mind. You go get your, go get your six pack. Go get you a 12 pack. Go get you a... Uh, a case, a case of that and bring them back and, and you can sit up right there at that table right there and sit down and listen to our blues let me get all this thing this is Val with this is how you do it and business as usual well <laughs> don't y'all forget to hit that subscribe button Child, I don't know what's going on with your girl today. But your girl feeling good. All that little mess right there, that stuff don't bother me. That and did that and done that for years. I may even walk over there and shake a tail feather. What you say? <laughs> yeah. The Lord is blessing me. The Lord is blessing me. The Lord is blessing me. I don't have no worries. Not for real. Oh, I want to tell y'all. Willie went to another bank, a bank that we bank with. We bank with two banks. Them people told him that right now we'll let you get a truck that that run, run at fifteen thousand dollars, and your payments will be around three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now, if you find you something cheaper than fifteen hundred fifteen thousand dollars, then your payments will go down. No cosigner, none of that bull. Just go out there and find your truck. Now, we passed the car lot. We saw we found a a a, a uh, four door truck at ten thousand dollars, and then we saw a, a four door truck at seven thousand eight hundred. Now, the the four door got two hundred thousand miles on it. I mean the seven the seven thousand dollar one. 
and the uh, $10,000 got 150,000 miles on it. This is a car lot. We still looking. But I'm just telling you, this part to let you know that God will give you the desires of your heart and he will supply your needs. He will give you some of your wants. Now, remember when I told you I put in an order for that truck? Remember that? He said you put in an order for it. Sometimes you got to write it down and make it plain or speak it out and make it plain. I told y'all what kind of truck we wanted. Now that we have the money and we have the okay with the bank and we are looking, I'm asking God to direct us to the right truck. Now, those two trucks might not be the right truck. We might be still need to look at some trucks. But we want to get the right truck for our situation. We want to get a truck that would take us out of town and bring us back with no problem. We want a truck that's going to last us for a long time. Those people at the bank also said that they would even uh, put a warranty on it. And if will it pass, they would pay for the truck. Will it, will it sign his um his retirement paperwork uh, yesterday? You know, when I told him to, he was off and we had some things to do. And don't you know, if people pass on Willie's job, they will give the family a year's worth of his, his paycheck so they can bury him. Like if you make 30000 60000 whatever you make in a year, they will give a family that to, to tie them over until they can survive this uh, tragedy, you know, to help them. So... They said even though Willard had left that job, they were paid to bury him. They would give fifteen, not fifteen, but ten thousand dollars for his burial. And I'm like, come me and Willard had talked about that because how I cried and stole, and, and we we didn't have the money to bury my mama, and we broke our bank account burying my mama. Cause Willard was worried about that, and he had a guy coming over him talking about funeral arrangements. And the lady sitting there, she said. Now, I don't know how y'all feel about this. She said, I just buried my daddy. Well, she said, I actually didn't bury him. She said, I had him cremated. And it, it was $1,900. You know, we didn't kind of into that cremation kind of thing. But, you know, we did listen to her. And she said, there was no service. They had a viewing for the family. And that was that. But, you know, my family had land. And my family, we own our own cemetery. It's a family plot where all the family go if something happens to them. But I just put that out there because I'm, I'm showing you how God take the worries off your mind. How God said he'll take care of you. And because uh, y'all remember when, uh, y'all don't remember when my mom passed because I told y'all about it. I told you how bad things went and how how I fell apart at, at uh at the funeral home and fell to my knees and then the tongues just started coming out because I was, you know, I, I was uncontrollable, with, you know, but I, I, I think I told y'all about that. Well, that's been taken care of when it comes to willing. And I, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. I, it ain't been taken care of from coming to me, but I have grown kids and hopefully I told, I told the ones that are responsible to go and take a policy out on me, you know. But anyway, those things that when you get a certain age, you start to worry about. And I hope will it be a, around for many a years, be 90-some years old, we're going on a hundred and still kicking and saying, how y'all doing? Leaning to one side. See, he have to lean like that because he's so tall. And so when he talk to people, instead of stand straight up, he take that lean in. You know, that's that tall thing. That's that tall, that tall man lean in when he talk. <laughs> y'all, I'm going to get off this thing. I just so enjoy so much talking to y'all. And like I said, don't y'all take that little mess I, I talked about walking around that corner. Because it wasn't about nothing. I was just showing y'all what, what what goes on around here. These people around here, I still love them. If something happened to them, I'll check on them and, and, and run and see about them. You know, because they family. You know, you can fall out with your family. You can have disagreements with your family. You can look at your family and do like this. Now, you know. But you still love them. <laughs> now, you know you could have took... What you doing telling me about this shit the last minute? You know, that's how you talk to your family. <laughs> but I may even go out today 
and found a little song. I think it's now what my understanding is that it's one of the brothers' birthday. So I may go out and get a cake from Walmart, slice it up, and take it on over there. That's what I'll do. I'm going to heave coals, hot coals over them. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna heave coals of love on them. When they don't treat you just right, just you treat you treat them right. When they don't treat you just right, you treat them right. That should be the name of this one. <laughs> love them anyway. How about that? Love them anyway. <laughs> this is valid. This is how you do it. Don't y'all forget to hit that subscribe button. Cause your girl done talk, 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 talk. She through walking. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye now.